Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is multiple linear regression and its derivation by matrix method. Let us start. In any experiment, there are two types of variable. One variable which is an output variable and there are some variables which are causing that output. When we try to find out the relationship between the input and output variables, that will be called as a model. Model is simply the representation of relationship. For example, if Y is a yield of crop, then the yield of crop depends on several factors like quantity of fertilizers, irrigation, rainfall, temperature, etc. For example, output variable Y is that is nothing but the yield of the crop denoted by Y and it is produced or it is caused by the set of input variables like quantity of fertilizers, irrigation level and temperature. For example, the equation or model is y is equal to 2x plus 1 plus 3x2 plus 4x3. Here y is dependent variable while x1, x2, x3 are independent variables. Here our problem is to find out these parameters 2, 3 and 4. They are nothing but the slope of this line equation. As more than one independent variable is involved, it is called multiple linear regression. For example, relief to patient depends on quantity of dosage, BP of patients and sugar level of patient. Now that equation can be represented as y is equal to 4x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3. Now again here the problem is to find out the value of these parameters. This is also example of multiple linear regression as more than one independent variable is there. There is some mathematical relationship which exists in the nature but the problem is that we don't know that relation. But by knowing this relation we can do better by planning. A model is good when it incorporates all its salient features of the phenomenon. Multiple linear regression derivation For univariate or simple linear regression y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x plus epsilon that is nothing but the random error. For multivariate or multiple linear regression as k independent variables are there so equation is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 2 x3 dash 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 beta k x k plus epsilon here beta 0 is the intercept term and beta 1 to beta k they are the regression coefficients or slope of the line equation epsilon is a random error here random error is associated with every variable therefore we will get the vector for the random error now when we predict the value of beta 0 to beta k by using the any optimization technique for example least square or maximum likelihood estimation at that time we will represent that equation by y cap because it is nothing but the all predicted values. If the number of explanatory variables becomes very large then situation becomes more critical. We want to retain only the important variables which are trying to affect the outcome y. Model setup for example conducted the experiment for n times. Now for example if we are doing that multiple linear regression in which four independent variables are there y is the output variable input variables or input independent variables are quantity of fertilizer irrigation level temperature and rainfall for k, k number of independent variables we can represent the equation like this this is the total n number of records x11 x12 x13 x142 x1k k independent variables are there with each we have that particular parameter and we want to find out that parameter so this is nothing but the input data having the end records can be represented like this format now equation of the model is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x1 to beta k x k plus epsilon now we have n records so we will write down the equation for n times like i will uh, just read the first equation that is y1 is equal to beta 0 beta 1 x11 beta 2 x12 beta 3 x13 beta k x beta k x1 k plus epsilon 1 now this is the first record and the x11 to x1 k for the second record it is x21 to x2 k so in this way we can write down the equation for the n set of records now the same we can represent in a matrix form so this is the result of the matrix form of the previous n set of equations now this is y1 to yn this is nothing but the intercept term this is nothing but the set of independent variables 
this is the parameter we want to find out that is beta 0 to beta k and this is nothing but the random error associated with each record now these are nothing but the dimension of this matrix y is equal to uh, n into 1 x is n into k plus 1 beta is k plus 1 into 1 and epsilon is n into 1 now for the instead of n dependent variables this is represented for the two independent variables x1 and x2 so this is the way so sometimes in multiple linear regression we can exclude the intercept term so when we exclude the intercept term then this one one get cancelled so this is nothing but the resultant format of the matrix <coughs> now for derivation we are making assumption on some terms assumption on errors mean of the random error is zero because some errors are positive some errors are negative and the points which lie on the exactly on the line they that particular record having the error zero errors have normal distribution collinearity is very important point which is to be considered in multiple linear regression in data analysis term it means none of the variable is secretly built from other variables the consequence of full rank is that multi collinearity will not occur in mathematical terms it means that the columns form a linearly independent set the mat then when the there is a chances that matrix is invertible now here we are making the assumption that rank of x is equal to k which is nothing but the full column rank so whatever input data we have that matrix having the rank is equal to k if the matrix is not a full rank and if we do regression which involves a matrix inverse inverse of such matrix does not exist so we require to take, deal with this collinearity condition example of collinearity now for simplicity i took a very simple example for example x1 x2 x3 if we observe carefully x1 is 1 2 3 4 5 there is a straightforward relationship between x1 and x2 and x1 and x3 it is nothing but the multi multiple of 4 times x1 and multiple of 5 times of x1 so collinearity is exist here in addition with the collinearity we can also check the multiple scatter plots to find out the relationship between the two independent variables so such condition should be avoided in multiple linear regression there are different methods of multiple linear regression derivation that is the maximum likelihood estimation and least square method that is matrix form and the least square method for curve fitting normal equation so in this video i am going to discuss the least square method of matrix form and in the next video that is least square equation for of curve fitting normal equation uh, by which we can easily solve the problem derivation of mlr by the least square method matrix form our aim is to find out the parameters from beta 0 to beta k and our aim is to minimize the error and here we never take the absolute error because absolute error generally close to zero so we always take the error a square of the error term so summation 1 to n epsilon i square our actual equation is this and predicted equation is like this because we are predicting for every but sometimes uh, here this is beta cap beta 1 cap beta 2 cap because all are nothing but the predicted variable so here just i forgot to put that cap now this equation is represented by s of beta is equal to summation 1 to n epsilon i square now again assumptions are it is real values convex so when it is convex then global minima or global maxima is present so here we want the global minima and the function should be of differential we will get optimized or minimum value for the coefficient when we have that assumption now here here we are taking the matrix multiplication so s of beta is equal to 1 to n epsilon dash into epsilon or y is x beta plus epsilon now we arrange the equation now this is the equation s of beta is equal to summation 1 to n epsilon dash into epsilon now we can replace epsilon by y minus x beta now y minus x beta dash into y minus x beta now the in the next step we do the multiplication that is y dash minus beta dash x dash into y minus x beta so here we multiply the terms and we will get the result so these are the simple mathematical step in which we are just solving this equation now to find out the minimum value of the sum of square we take the gradient or derivative with respect to beta and set it equal to zero so we are derived whatever the equation we get 
we are making the derivative with respect to beta parameter now here uh, as the beta term is not present so answer is zero here the output of 2 y dash x beta is minus 2 x dash y beta and for here we require to apply the mathematical rule now here the derivative of b dash a beta with respect to beta is 2 ab now here this beta and beta dash is present so we are taking 2 ab now here similarly beta dash and beta so x dash and x is similar to a so our output is 2 x dash x beta so we are getting the final answer 2 x dash x beta minus 2 x dash y dash as uh, 2 x dash y equal to 0 now this is the equation we get on the previous slide now we will arrange this equation so we are getting x dash x beta is equal to x dash y now here we take the inverse now x dash x into x dash x inverse is equal to x dash y into x dash x inverse now this get cancelled so beta is equal to x dash y x dash x inverse now when we do the matrix multiplication we require to follow that number of rows and columns rule therefore beta is equal to x dash x inverse x dash y and this is nothing but the predicted equation every time it is not possible uh, to write the beta cap so if, but final when you write down the equation it should be always in beta cap because we are predicting the values from given set of data now x dash x x inverse into x dash y so here we will get the this is nothing but the column vector in which we are getting the parameters from beta 0 to beta k this is the equation of the final equation of mlr in matrix form so this is all about the derivation of multiple li multiple linear regression in matrix form so in the next video i am going to take the problem on uh, problem solving of multiple linear regression using the matrix method thank you